Hi lads, how's it going? Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about my dry fly setup. Uh, got a couple of questions there on YouTube from people who are asking about my setup for brown trout on the dry fly. So um, I said I'd just make this quick video and just show you what my setup is. So when I'm dry fly fishing, uh, what I really like to use is a, a nine foot, five weight, and a five weight reel that match up perfectly and uh, a five weight line. Like some people like to go a little bit heavier, a little bit lower with the with the fly line. For me, the exact weight fly line that matches uh, the reel and the rod, really, it just suits me fine for it, you know? But um, yeah, I'll just show you there now uh, my connection with this now. So what I have on the end of my floating line, I have a five weight floating line, and on the end of that, then I have a, a nine foot tapered leader. I'll just explain to you briefly what a tapered leader is. Uh, a tapered leader has a diameter along the length of the leader. The end that connects to the line is thick and the leader gradually becomes thinner as it travels down its length. This taper means that when it's cast, the leaders will turn over more efficiently. So when I'm dry fly fishing, I always use a tapered leader because it gives great presentation and you don't want to spook the fish. So my tapered leader is connected onto a welded loop on my main floating line. The next part is connecting my tapered leader up to my tippet and how I do this is I use a 3mm steel ring. And finally with my line setup I like to use Rio Powerflex 4x 6.4 pound which covers me in a lot of eventualities in case you get a bigger fish and also the um, Rio Floroflex 4x 5 pound. What I use as well while dry fly fishing is gink and that helps to keep the, the fly floating. It's great stuff, just a small dab is all you need. Um, keep it well away from your tippet as well because if you get any gink in your tippet it's not going to sink and the fish will also see your tippet. So just keep the gink for your fly, keep it well away from your line. Now another thing I use is a dry patch and these are fierce handy. You know I have it on my zinger here, I can pull it up and down or whatever. Um, it's great for just uh, changing over wet flies when a dry fly is so wet it keeps sinking, maybe it's been in the fish's mouth and um, keeps sinking. I'll take it off and I'll replace it and then I'll put that wet fly on the dry patch here where it will just dry out. Then of course my dry fly box. So. You can see here I have a nice selection there uh, various flies kind of from sedges um, emergers um, upwing olives it's my fly box it's a cheap and cheerful fly box it's one of those slim ones fits nice inside your pocket so lads uh, I hope you enjoyed this video on my dry fly setup uh, I hope it helps do give this video a like and um, subscribe to my channel. Until next time, tight lines. Take care.